How's it going, everybody? So today I want to talk about the Fellow Atmos coffee containers. I bought a 0.7 liter and a 1.2 liter container just so that when I'm running low on coffee, I can order some more and know for sure I'm going to have somewhere to put it. It kind of helps to, to switch them out. So it's been very useful as far as the setup goes. But what I want to do is basically talk about the pros and cons. Um, would I recommend them? Uh, just, you know, different little things like that. So let's get right into it. First off, I want to say that having a vacuum seal is an absolute must in my opinion now. Um, you know those coffee containers that have the button on top that kind of just basically tighten the lid? They don't really create an actual vacuum, not in the, in the true form. There's still plenty of air in there that's still aging the beans a lot. And um, that's what I was using before. And I could definitely tell a huge difference in quality within even a few days where it just felt like it was a little bit less, it was a little lackluster. Um, the bloom wasn't really as um, pronounced. It was just, it was just getting to be dull coffee. And so switching to these from that was a massive upgrade. And I would say that anyone who's looking for coffee containers, try to get something for sure, whether it's this or something else with a true vacuum seal. That's just, I, in my opinion, a, a really big deal. I got these ones in glass and they look really cool. Honestly, on display in the shelf, they look really great. It's very easy to tell if you're starting to run low on coffee, different things like that. But I, in hindsight, I wish that I got just the, the regular stainless steel one instead of the glass because light does have something to play with aging the beans as well. And I didn't really consider that at first. Not to mention, there's a lot of fingerprints that can kind of get on glass, so it's not really, it's not as aesthetic or as clean as it, as it looks, you know, just on the website. It gets kind of, you know, it, it just, it doesn't look as good over time as something as sleek and classy like a black stainless steel would. So for actual storing purposes and for aesthetics, if I were to do it all over again, not that this is a major regret, but if I were to do it again, I'd definitely get a stainless steel next time. Now these are really easy to use and really easy to clean. I've had very little issues as far as maintenance goes with them. It's been, uh, it's been a breeze. I do have a problem though, and that is for the past few months, I've been experiencing the seal getting broken overnight or and sometimes even resealing it um, before I go to sleep, waking up and sometimes the seal being loose. And I've tried a bunch of different things. I've tried fiddling around with the paper filter because what you can do is you can take the, the rubber lining off and there's kind of a metal, there's a metal filter and then a paper one. And you can, I don't know, I kind of just moved that around a little bit just to make sure that everything was snug. And I'm still having these kind of same issues where it's just, especially in this little guy. And I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm still in the middle of trying different things. I contacted Fellow and the best they could do was offer me basically a rebate, but I'm having issues finding my receipt. Anyway, so I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, uh, the, uh, the concept is still amazing and I love the idea and they've treated me very well for a long time But I'm, they are starting especially this guy is starting to kind of quit on me So I'm still trying to figure that one out now as far as variety goes when it comes to different options For containers that actually provide like a true vacuum seal I just don't know how many there are I believe there's one by Mir and I haven't really looked into how solid of a um, of a product that is, but it's a good brand. Um, I honestly am, I'm still enjoying these. It's just, this guy's, this one little guy has kind of been messing with my coffee a little bit because this the seal is definitely not uh, holding up as, as well as I'd like. So that is a little bit unfortunate. But besides that, it's a container. There's not tons to get into. There's not a lot to talk about in regards to it. It's, it's kind of pretty straightforward, um, but I will say, um, genuinely do really like this and I'm not sure if it's a user error thing or not where I've maybe put on the seal too tight too many times and it's kind of weakened the seal something like that um, but what I would say is honestly it's it's been a good product and uh, I really do hope that this can this problem gets resolved because some days are better than others and that I don't understand at all there's some days where it's fine others where it's not but Anyways, if you have additional questions or anything like that in the, in the, in regards to containers, please let me know. I, you know, I love talking about coffee and all things coffee. So, so please feel free to share me, with me your thoughts or your questions. I'd love to answer them, but yeah, 
that's that. So, <laughs> well, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're drinking excellent coffee and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Have a good one.